been back this way for any of the games for YSU recently? No, no, I haven't been. So you haven't seen any of Polini's games? No. Since he started, okay. No, but okay. I, I, knew, I knew, but I would, no, I knew what he was doing. Right. Um, <clears throat> just your thought. You, you grew up, you played yep. back in the day for, I'm guessing, maybe Narduzzi. Or Dyke. Before, um, Dyke Beatty. Oh, my goodness. Okay. You played for Dyke Beatty then. Um, your thought. We actually, we, actually, we actually had a football then. They gave us a football. <laughs> we, we didn't have any sleds. We didn't have any. We, we had football. Oh, that's good. That's all you need. And uniforms. And uniforms. Wow. That's when are they going to change the. They got to change that uh, penguin thing, you know. Right. <laughs> it, but that, that's for another day. Okay. Um, <clears throat> your thought that. After playing back in the day, as you said, you played at one time against Roger Staubach, who everybody Yeah. Knows. Your thought that these guys are going for a fifth championship in this day and age in this little town. Oh, it's great. It's really uh, wonderful for these guys. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a point of pride for any winter, you know. I always brag about them. They have four national titles. I act like I was on one of them, you know. I don't tell them that I'm not. Um, how is it to, to grow up around here and have that Youngstown pride and now it's going to be on display again tomorrow for the nation to see? Well, I think it's great. I think it's good for the people of Youngstown, even guys like me who no longer live in Youngstown. But, you know, we, we follow the, the teams and, um, you know, we brag about it. Great. Do you miss it? Do you miss those days where, you know, you were on the football field playing? Yeah, because I felt better then. You know, I could move better then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> everything came easier physically. Then. Um, do you keep in contact with any of your former teammates? You know, not a lot of my teammates. Um, but I have a lot of friends in Youngstown that I keep in contact with. What are you? What are you hearing from them with all of this taking place? Well, this you know, most of my friends in Youngstown are big sports fans, so they're all following. You know, they're all wishing them well, and you know, they're going to enjoy it. Um, what does this? If we win that fifth championship, aside from the bragging rights. What does this kind of instill for you going back that you tell your friends about growing up in Youngstown that once again we do it? Well, I mean, I hope that again, uh, it would be great to win, celebrate that fifth national championship. But, you know, just get to the final uh, for the national title, tremendous. And uh, they're already, uh, they've already done quite a bit. You know, Bo Bellini and, you know, Jim Trickle's a friend of mine. All the coaches, the players, you know, they should they should enjoy the experience because you don't play for a national title every day. Right, right. Okay. I'll be cheering them on from my lanai in Hawaii. Just in case the cell signal we lost a little bit. Yeah. The idea that this is something to be proud of because we don't get there every day. Kind of reiterate that a little bit. Sure. Go ahead. No, I just hope that I hope that the everybody connected to the game, you know, from Jim Press, the president, to the students, the fans, the players, the coaches, enjoy every second of the experience because you don't play for an hour every day, and they should enjoy it. Okay. Very good. Ed, thank you very much for your time. It looks my pleasure, well Jerry. You. We'll yes. talk to you the next time you're in town. If you like golf, this is fun. <laughs> Thanks. Take bye care. Bye bye. Bye bye.